When she took the court in 1972 as part of the first University of Hawaii women's volleyball team, Marilyn Moniz began a love affair with both the school and the sport. While Marilyn didn't coach, what she accomplished as the school's senior woman administrator across 28 years was groundbreaking. She helped elevate Hawaii volleyball on the national stage, not only in terms of competitiveness and attendance, but also facilities and media coverage. Her tireless work with the NCAA Committee on Women's Athletics helped beach volleyball go from being an emerging sport to becoming the NCAA's 90th championship sport in only four years. Let me say this um, because it's given me a chance to look back and, and look in my memory box and to think of all the people that have been involved in our sport of volleyball. And I can only say that I am a true reflection of Hawaii's love and aloha for the sport of volleyball. And so my life, my entire life has just about revolved around volleyball. And it's really been the primary influence of my life. I graduated in 1972. Um, and so I was gonna go to the University of Hawaii. Um, and that's when um, the Pat Seeming Title IX started to get women's athletics started. And the two sports we started with, fortunately, was volleyball and track. Through the tenacity and perseverance of Dr. Donis Thompson, who started women's athletics, we um, started the program and launched out. And it was a success almost from the beginning. But we had no clue where we stood in collegiate volleyball. So I went on the Committee on Women's Athletics in 2010 to 2014. NCA had the Emerging Sports Program. Beach Volleyball became a sport when we started the Beach Volleyball Committee um, with uh, Gulf Shores. And it was just like a wonderful way to end a career and to be able to retire by providing these opportunities. 